Praise God, everybody. This is uh, Blake with The Way of the Righteous. Uh, I just wanted to come on here. I made a video a little while back. It's been a few months now, at least. Um, I believe I posted it on YouTube. Forgive me if I haven't. <laughs> but <clears throat> the Holy Spirit was speaking to me about, about being a forerunner. Amen. The Holy Spirit was speaking to me about being a forerunner and comparing us as as believers, right, to the the first forerunner, amen, which was John the Baptist, who was a forerunner for Jesus Christ. He was there in the beginning before Jesus Christ started started his ministry to prepare the way for him to come. And what that means is he was preparing the hearts and minds of the people of Israel. He was cultivating their hearts. He was preparing their hearts. He was preaching a lifestyle of repentance and baptizing them in water. Amen. He was saying, repent. For the kingdom of heaven is on its way. Amen. It's about to make an appearance on the earth. Repent and turn back to God so that you can receive this Messiah. Hallelujah. That's coming to the earth and is now here. Amen. So with that being said. I believe that the Holy Spirit is speaking to me and he is revealing to me that we, hallelujah, that we as the body of Christ, we as, as born-again believers that have received this Messiah, who is Jesus Christ, who have received this Messiah, and we now have that kingdom living on the inside of us, we now have the life of Jesus Christ living in and active activated on the inside of us amen that we have now become forerunners just in a way like john the baptist except the the difference between this forerunner call is that we are preparing people for the second coming of jesus christ Hallelujah. We are preparing the people of today, the ones that have received the kingdom and are going to receive the kingdom, hallelujah, through this Messiah, which is Jesus Christ, that we are preparing them to be ready, to be ready to receive the second coming of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And I'm not even, and I'm not in particularly, I'm not particularly saying that Jesus Christ is going to come back in this lifetime or my lifetime or your lifetime. But I'm definitely not counting it out, amen, because Jesus Christ could, could come back at any time, amen. But what I am saying is that people, uh, we are preparing people to be able to receive the, um, Second coming of Jesus Christ. We're preparing people to, to be ready. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. To be ready for the kingdom. I mean, for the, the second coming of Jesus Christ. To be ready for it. And even if it's not, you know, even if Jesus Christ does not come back in my lifetime, the people that I am preparing to be ready for the second coming of Jesus Christ are also preparing people to be ready for the second coming of Jesus Christ. And so, so it's a generational thing. And so this preparation for the second coming of Jesus Christ is generational. And it's passed down through generations and generations and generations until that day does come. And then when that day comes, there is a people on the earth still alive, hallelujah, that are ready, that have been prepared, that have been conditioned, that have been taught 
so that they can be ready for the second coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, who is coming not like the first time, hallelujah, but in glory and splendor, hallelujah, in majesty and in authority, hallelujah. So I just pray and I hope and, and pray that that encourages you. That is an encouraging word. You know, be ready for the second coming of Jesus Christ and also prepare others to be ready for the second coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, which is a glorious and wonderful time for those of us who are indeed ready for that coming. I pray you be blessed in Jesus' name. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, the notification bell, so you can be notified of more content that comes out. This is the way of the righteous, and I pray that you are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.